All right, welcome to the Misty Mountain Madison, Wisconsin top four for the 1K from the May 4th. I'm Taxter with Artificery, and with me we have Loopy from Late Night Gaming. What is up, everybody? Just gotta see some cool Star Wars Unlimited being played. We have Pelp Yellow versus Sabine Yellow. And we open up with a Green Squadron A Wing and. An ISB agent to ping it. Right. Uh, the player on the bottom, Ryan, is Rebel Resource, who's been on Sabine Yellow since several months before release. Since the game was announced. Not really, but yep. like it does feel like it's been like the whole time. <laughs> I don't know if he calls it Blonde Sabine or not, uh, but I mean, that, uh, that yep. name's gaining some traction. Uh, and then we have Palp Yellow, which is an interesting deck. Uh, Packer colors. Pelp know, Yellow so is good. my favorite deck that I I got to see at the tournament that weekend. It's just really cool and just does things that I was not expecting to see, and it just felt really good. I've I've literally been playing it for the last like week just to get used to it because it it was so fun. Like I'm a big Pelp fan, and I never realized how much Pelp Yellow is way cooler. So you see, yeah, nope. and it can just, do some. Uh, cool things with Traitorous and Change of Heart. I mean, obviously Pale has sack abilities for him. Um, there's a couple of big bangers on that, but otherwise it is a very much a, a pretty low-to-the-ground deck. There's not a lot of huge units. See some pretty interesting like play here with just kind of highlights the strengths of Yellow Sabine is you're running a little bit more of the ability to go wide with like Leia giving you the extra resource. So like now, you know, now Leia has... Or, uh, uh, Sabine has a commanding lead in space, and Palpatine doesn't really have a lot to do with that right now. Yep, and Blonde Sabine certainly is more a space deck than green. Um, Falcons help a lot with that, too. Right. And green's, yeah, green just doesn't have good ships. Like you have Bright Hope. Right, That's which is more defensive than offensive. Yep, and you're not running Star Vipers in, in that really either, so... Pelp's kind of got the ground locked down a little bit, depending on what comes out on turn three. We are going to see Sabine coming out. I don't know if we're going to see Pelp come out at all. <laughs> there's not, yeah, a, lot, there's not, not a lot of reach a, to be able to hit that A-wing, though, across lanes with like with green-yellow. like that, that is like something you're missing, is a little bit of that cross-lane reach, at least until you hit Barrage. Right. Death by a thousand cuts it with uh, Palpatine pings and ISB agents, but that's like the best you're gonna get right now. Right. Yeah, and we'll see ISB taking out Leia, so we have a fully healthy cell block guard ready to tank Sabine after eating five more to the face. Right. So Palp has seven on his base. Yeah. Both Either. on chopper base, both 30 health, which definitely helps. Oh, the double cell block guard. Well, that sets up how pretty well, I think, for... I would say those are likely at least one to survive to next round. If he has a barrage, I think he can be right back in this game, because a barrage will take out what's currently in space and then be able to contest whatever's in ground this round. So that's at least something going for Pelp. In an otherwise very tough matchup. Yeah, I did not um, obviously be able to stay to this tournament um, to talk to this guy, but I wonder what his path, how much aggro he played on the way. Yeah, I'm not sure how much. I know he played one in the top eight. I know he played another blonde being in top eight. That that much I know for sure. So he at least beat one in the top cut. So you got to feel that pretty pretty good with that at least. And it's significantly better than the other flavors of Pelp into Agro, I think. I, I don't, it's just, it's weird, man. Pelp yellow is weird. I mean, the thing, the notable thing is he's not running uh, Tie Defenders, which are a very good answer to space. And that, I feel like that might be one of the biggest, like, 
I, I, I would have liked to talk to them about like why they, the two people that brought this deck, why they decided to not go with the, the, the defenders, because like the, they have the cartel spacers, which is good to tap things down, but no defenders. Like, man, you have a defender here, you, you literally clear up the whole space lane with, with very little effort. Ooh, the wing leader's good. Uh, a barrage is still good cleanup here. You get three, four, like you killed two of the ships. Palp is already at 11. 11 not too bad. I'm surprised that he put the experience on the A-Wing as opposed to the Alliance to the X-Wing. X yeah. Because it's a... If he's playing around Barrage, one way or another... Yeah, putting it on the X-Wing means that he can only kill one thing with that. Or he, like, kills the X-Wing. Or Oh, I guess he kills both. Uh, it's it's hard to say. I think I think the X wing would have been better overall. Well, I don't know. Too, I don't. I don't, I don't know what's going on in, in Ryan's head here. There's, there it would have been be two more action. damage that turn would be the primary difference. And yeah. I think, that, I think that it's you know he has a five point barrage showing, so he wouldn't be able to kill the Alliance X wing and the wing leader. But it's still all predicated on actually having the barrage in hand, <laughs> you know. Right. Well, I, I, think I do feel like this have... matchup is lives <laughs> think... and dies by the barrage. <laughs> well, like any green villain into aggro. Um, yeah, you know, I, think you I mean Boba can do okay without it. Boba Green can be fine without it, but it's obviously like a blowout card once once you do get it. And it looks like he probably doesn't have it because he spent his first action to Palpatine kill the, the wing leader, which sounds like that's probably the only thing he's gonna be able to get rid of this round, which does not bode bell, bell bode well when you're gonna take another five. Yep. So sixteen to base, fourteen remaining. Well, I know we saw a change of heart in his hand. Um could be a little tricky because even if he uses it next round he won't have the extra resource to use the palpatine ability to kill it so it's just temporary a traitorous would be pretty good here i do believe he's running three traitorous i think he's he, two he's three yeah three traitors it's definitely steal he, all your stuff Pelp. <laughs> yeah um and then kill it um i think he tapped below where he can cast traitorous right now because he has four remaining that's true. Oh. Yeah, that he would have had to open it just as well. Yep. Hasn't been able to ramp. No barrage. He gets one heal, so that's something. Mm -hmm. We haven't seen Sabine play any resources here either, so this could still be a really big swing on Sabine's side. Yeah, no, he might have another wing leader. Falcon's pretty good too. Falcon has yep. a surprise strike. Did he take initiative? I think they're just resetting it to where it was. I can't imagine that he took initiative. No, he so. did. He did. Okay. I I don't know. I'm not going to say it's a misplay. I just have no idea. He might... Um, he didn't play anything, right? He didn't play anything that round. He attacked with the A-Wing for five. Right, but he did not play anything. Maybe his hand is just awkward, too. I mean, if you're getting five in a round, you don't really care a whole lot. Like maybe he is worried about the the barrage the next turn or like like there's there is still a lot of really bad things that could come down still. Right. You can see Royal Guard for another heal. Which isn't great, but it's something. He needs to do eleven. Should be five damage on the on the Sabine base. Oh yeah, it's easy to forget when <laughs> they're not forget, the one that matters for, as much. For, for, forgetting about you know the agro. You know, it's like, ah, they, there's no way Sabine's gonna die here. Sabine unit. Maybe just baiting the cell block card to attack. 
I don't know. Like, ground is pretty well locked up. What else did Pelp just play there for? Did he ramp? Yeah. Did he play a resupply? I, I think it was. Which puts him going to eight, so he's going to be able to steal the A-Wing. Which at least makes it... Competitive, and then we get another ping damage. See if he has a falcon. Yeah, falcon here would be really, really strong. He's still got four resources. Sneak attack. Sneak attack. Hit two. Hit two is pretty good. Yep. Uh, probably into the one that you overwhelm, right? Which one did he do it on? So he's dealing one overwhelm and three to base, so four, yeah. Kill, kill the cell black guard. And I think that's probably, that's, that, I mean, sneak attack is just huge. Like, even if he's going to steal that A-wing, you know, that's two damage from the, the X-wing plus one for the ping. We haven't seen any four causes, like, one damage through. Eh, it's going to happen, I think. So we might see a pelt deploy, but... Swift, swift defeat after that, I believe. I think he needs a gladiator. First. He does have gladiators, so right. Yeah, and we see the surprise strike. Surprise so. strike! All and right, so game one goes game to Sabine. One. Right. A nice part about playing Sabine decks is that they go quick. They really do. If this was a great tournament, um, I'm looking forward to the store showdown next month. I don't know if they've announced price structure for that yet, but I'm hoping they do another similar 1k. That's what I think they might be talking about. On top of the store showdown, so it could be pretty crazy. So we open up with the double space open, two threes in space, and a Sabine ping. Help maintaining initiative. X-Wing and a space taco. It does look like a space taco. I'd eat it. <laughs> If you were a space taco taxer, would you eat yourself? Yeah, I know probably. I would. <laughs> yeah, thanks for uh, recording the whole thing. This was the pilot run of the recording rig, or at least the yeah, first uh, and tournament. I think that all turned out pretty well. Hopefully, get some more iteration and improvements going on for the Snore Championship probably be recording two different ones at least is, is the plan so I'm not sure what they're discussing right here it's like pelp still resourcing ready to party the the cartel spacer is pretty good into the x-wing because he's going to at least be able to take it out <laughs> and if he needs to like eventually we can pop it off with Palpatine here. He's going to take two from it, but... Or not. Or he's going to get... Wrecked by a wing leader. I don't know that Pelp has an answer to that. Right now. Not for a mile. Not, not in not space. For a while. For a while. It could be a Star oh, Viper. He has Three. seven fleets, doesn't he? No, he doesn't. And that, that's why I say that's like the biggest, I think, question mark in the deck building is there's no seventh fleets. Right. Um, he plays the because ISB it's so good. And, uh, right. I mean, ISB agents actually feel decent in this deck because you just you pop a damage and then you kill them because it's OK for them to die. And he heals one. But yeah, the, that, that X-Wing's going to probably get out of control now. Question is, is, does he sack his spacer right now to kill the wing leader? The wing leader. I think you do. I think you do too, because you get your card draw. Okay, wait, well, Greedo's fine on the ground too. Sabine turn here. No ground units for Sabine. And I will say, my Greedo 
has been hot fire lately. I don't know what it is in the last week. I've been playing Yellow Pelp. My Greedo has just been popping off, so. Just don't use up out. all your luck. All your I luck know. in the practice. <laughs> Man, when Greedo hits, it feels he feels like the best one drop in the game. You know, like by a long shot. Being able to reach for five with him is crazy. Probably is the best one shot in the game, I think. I'm just looking for some Greedo McClunky action here. Set two. Now, help can. Ooh, shoot oh. first. That's pretty big. That's enough to get the clean kill. That's why yeah. he probably didn't sack it last turn because he was ready to come in with that. That, that's big. Red three. Cell blocker. Man, he's really got that ground blocked up. be interesting whether he deploys here another notable i think absence in palpatine is he's not running probe droids i don't think which you know they don't turn on your oh dudes, the sec force there is big yeah because even if he kills it it's still offline for the turn mm -hmm. it's gonna get damage through or Greedo gets lucky. There, there is still a chance that Greedo just gets lucky here. Are we gonna see it? Yep, Greedo got lucky. The one shot on Sabine. Maybe it's best, helpful. best one drop in the game. For now. <laughs> Yeah, that was. I mean, Pelp's still at seven, but like has a really decent board here. And we're at the barrage turn. A barrage kills everything that is relevant. You kill all of space. You maintain a unit in space. Yeah, no a barrage here would just be amazing, as as usually is on turn five or the round five. I think it's going to be a surprise strike in first. Six. And even if he doesn't barrage, it probably take out the wing leader here. Yep. Maybe give him a cell block. Yeah, he has to leave one thing alive. I yeah, know. I think you leave the cell block alive because the spec force has to go through it right now, so. Preserve your space. If he doesn't kill... I think if he kills red three... I'm oh, definitely going to kill red three. Yeah, the spec force doesn't um, kill the cell black guard, and that's what I imagine. I think he kills those two. You know, yeah. oh, I just wanted to stop. Yeah, that's what we expect, I think, I'd say. Yeah. yeah. One spec force. Let's see what we got for Sabine. We've got five resources. I'm just gonna four cause here. For four. So lots of ships. Three ships and a Sabine off the top I imagine, there. I, I imagine those are all gonna go burn. They are probably. Uh, Sabine burn, red three burn. Looks like he's keeping one ship on top. And he already played two versus surprise strikes. He actually has nothing else. Like he's actually gonna end the round with no units, probably. Let's get some Ryan here, so on Sabine. It's kind of crazy that Pelp already has board control. And it's the magic of barrage, I guess. Yeah. Good card. I mean Pelp's at 18, which is a lot. But this might be stabilization. Like, Pelp could afford to ramp in the next round, I believe. Which would have set up for steal of whatever comes out. I think you want to steal like a K2 if you can 
sneak in. If he kept his resupplies in. Yeah, it's like if if he if he can manage it, this is not a bad turn to ramp. I think like versus aggro, this is like the only turn you can ramp. Really, is the turn that like just get that one last round into pelt a little bit earlier, or you do it on the round after this and sneak into it midway through your seven resource round, but. Huge card for him. And it doesn't re, re, look like Ryan dumped his hand, or did he there? I kind of missed it. Ooh, he plays the gladiator. Don't know plays the gladiator. That. Yeah, it's a little awkward in the sense that it's just, it's going to, you know, be nothing. Right, because it doesn't retain central to next turn when it actually matters. here with the mm -hmm. cartel and cell block so pelt looks like he's ahead on damage actually which is weird now the question is whether he found a four or cause i believe in there's a Ooh, surprise strike seven damage Just seven right so 25 puts him in range of four or cause plus sabine ping we don't see another. Though four cause is not quite as reliable. I don't know if I saw. Did he heal off of the gladiator? Okay, he did. Okay, so that that pulls him out of that pulls him out of ping range. That's pretty big. Ping and four cause, and that actually I think he has lethal five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, but we see a sneak attacked rogue operative going in for four plus one for the ping. He'll be one short unless he has another surprise strike. But I don't think he has enough resources to play that either. Um, yeah, nope. it looked like that, no. that extra heal from uh, from the Royal Guard might be very relevant to the end of this game. Looks like Pelp's gonna be able to lock this game down without the use of Palpatine, the leader, which is crazy. So yeah, we got five to base to twenty-five. Yep. So any, well, you know, he needs surprise strike. Shoot first doesn't get him there. Yeah. Uh, it would with the Sabine ping uh, follow with up. The Sabine ping. Oh. Yeah, he needs he needs a pump. Now look, like he has three resources left, so he could have surprise strike. Okay, I think Ryan's not realizing that he healed with the guard. He was probably thinking he had lethal there beforehand, because he, he, he would have. He would between that and ping, and now he's probably going to be one off where he thought he might have had enough with the sneak attack. That, that might do it for game two. Sometimes that one heal off of Yularen can be huge. gonna try to kill which doesn't really change much here I guess it does it, it, it prevents Palpatine from getting lethal here this round but Sabine can't ping either yeah I imagine he'll Palpatine take could have a shoot time. first and Palpatine does run shoot first oh he took initiative and is gonna win with the with the gladiator at that point yep all right so dang so Pelp actually got one here. Good job, Pelp. It's a tough matchup, and we go to game three. All right, Sabine with initiative plays Sabine unit into the ground arena. It's probably something the Pelp player likes to see. Playing in ground, I believe so, because it's just. You're weighted so like I think he has seven space units total, which is and one of them's like a devastator. That doesn't count. Um, I, well, he does have more star vipers in the sideboard, so he'll have six early drops in right. space, which is not as much as Sabine plays. 
And, and I'm interested in Ryan's decision right here because I think it's a tough call as to whether to deal with Hilaren with Sabine Unit or not. Yeah, um, I'd say that like he's usually pretty big on mm. trading for like the early stuff. Like, it, but just having seen his place, like yeah, so that doesn't really surprise me because it's gonna kind of get him. You know, now he's got a Sabine unit that will hopefully start hitting for yep. harder. Blonde Sabine definitely plays more mid rangey than green. Um, I mean, it's certainly the control against green. And it doesn't matter when you got a big old wing leader follow up. Mm -hmm. Take initiative, probably. Smack down the wing leader. I think he's gonna ping because the ping won't matter because of Star Viper being able to heal. So I figure he's save a damage on his base, even though he doesn't have initiative. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good call. As a play. So yeah, we're at the point where that Sabine is really big, and we're gonna have Sabine somehow. Peltine's got sky superiority, but is definitely lacking on the ground. And and that's why I like that I think that trade is just still worth it cuz like otherwise he could have put two in and then sacrificed it with Pelp and then like now you're like I don't know. Yeah, I don't think you can leave Gilara alive. Um yeah, and the, the much, ongoing heals. heals. Well, that is that is enough to answer Sabine at least. He doesn't have somewhere to trick around it. So we get a heroic yep, sacrifice. Heroic sacrifice. I'm going full tradesies here, but you know that that ship is going to keep healing because he's not going to have Ryan's not going to have initiative this round with Sabine coming out, so it makes sense to take the heal bot offline while you can. So, if he has wing leader, this is another wing leader. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, but do you save it for Sabine unit or Sabine leader? I mean, yeah, you, I think that's what you do. If you yeah, so you can leader. kill the kill the. Thing yep. and get it one to base with that. Pelp, I think, is just taking initiative. He's See the pings. Pings and the swings and the wings. That pings and swings <laughs> and wings. Pings and swings and wings. No wings? Oh, no wings. He, there is an oh, a wing. Oh, it is a wing. Yep. An it's a, a, wing. a shaped one. All right. Okay. So it was pings and swings and wings, wings in that exact order, too. So. Right. Certainly could have been worse for Pelp there. I mean, a wing leader. Or well, not. Let's see. Is, is Greedo going to get lucky again? Are we going to get the two Good. for two on Greedo Sabine nukes? I think you gotta take that, right? Is there? I guess barrage is not bad here either, as as we always say. <laughs> barrage is a good card. Yeah, I think if you have barrage, you cast it on the gun to kill the A wing and do two to Sabine. Mean... Don't overthink it. Yeah. Five. I assume it's the barrage. Yep. Okay. Like, is there a world where you just take Sabine out here and threaten whatever ground unit he plays? I don't think that's the case. No. So you just can't deal with space as much. I I think you have to kill the A one. All right, so eight damage on Pelp's base, one on Sabine's base. This is actually like, yeah, like that's pretty Greedo. good for Pelp so far. Greedo will die at the end of the round, so if ground units gets played. Ooh, the Falcon. It's the there first it one is. Seen. We gonna see a surprise strike too? No. I see. No, but that's. Good. That's the thing. Here. That's the thing that you would have wanted to. That's the thing you wanted to barrage. Ooh, and a 
that spark of rebellion to get rid of no good to be dead that would also have been super good against the falcon in the cup kind of upcoming round wow right. that that's kind of a blowout there i feel like so Greedo dies Greedo's not going to have any target at the end of the round here yeah i feel like that spark was really big because i think i think we would have seen a no good to be dead on the falcon and then that by impel two more rounds of falcon free time it's pretty so they're big. working they're working out i think the end of round phase here with the interactions as to when barrage wears off as to greedo's ability but greedo can't hit space units with his ability so it doesn't matter anyways so he actually puts the oh so he, he, he chose the bounty hunter crew interesting i mean i can see it if you don't want him to i don't know why we're flipping it still i think they're trying to like think of or forget that you can't hit air you know the space units with it so i right, think they gotta figure it out um yeah so it looks like he ended up coming with bounty hunter crew instead of no gonna be dead so and bounty hunter crew I'm, it, it depends on his hand if 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 Ryan has something like a Sabine or something he wants to throw down next round, then the Bounty Hunter crew can just kill that and threaten a barrage the following turn, and that is basically another blowout. So I mean, you, you definitely don't want to see two barrages, and maybe that's where his head was there. Yeah, and I think actually Ryan has initiative. Yeah. Oh, uh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Sam, Pelt has Samuel initiative, has right. initiative so on Pelt. He, he may not... He may bring the Falcon back. That's true. He might. But I don't know that I don't know. I think he does if it gets no good to me deaded this coming turn. Because then it doesn't isn't actually offline for two rounds. The one that is kind of a good part about the Falcon. Forgot about that part. <laughs> so we're going with six resources here on both sides and How did Ryan have initiative there? What did I miss? Did he have another spark? Yes, he did. Did Palpatine just pass? I think the only card in his hand is Darth Vader. Oh, I feel like... I don't know what happened there, but it was... I guess he didn't want to use No Good to Me Dead on the Falcon and just passed out of the round and kind of didn't do anything that that that's pretty backbreaking and i guess that's where he would have at least been able to bounty hunter crew and grab a barrage but no he got nothing yeah maybe that first spark you could say won the ones of this game because it feels like he could have at least thrown the crew, bounty hunter crew down grab barrage and then basically get set up to clear the board. All right, he's got a super laser tech. Got six damage coming in from Sabine here. Hopefully only six. Well, oh. six so far, yeah. And Pelp's going to be looking to prime his steel target. I don't know if it's going to be the green squadron or the... Try it again. Falcon. Yeah, no, it's a. I think you gotta do the Falcon, but. Help will come out, steal the Falcon. Still can't do anything with it till next round. Ryan hasn't played anything yet, so there's a whole potential for pain coming up here. Yeah, man, I can't I can't believe how strong Spark was there in terms of like just stabilizing like Sabine really coming back with with that play, being able to lock Pelp onto like a, a do nothing turn is is crazy. Like you can't you can't have your C six resource turn do nothing and expect to win a game. Right. That's just not not a winning move. And a black one. Ooh, yeah. So that's his whole turn. I think we're going to see Pelp claim here. I don't know how 
much it helps them. The falcon cannot kill the black one. No, it can barrage, but it's going to kill one and then have to kill the other after it deals damage to base, which is not great for it. And we know he has a Vader. Yeah, we know he's a Vader. But not going to be able to use it, probably. Right. The black one's just going to let you filter... Like, we could just see, like, black one filter into double for a cause, and then it's just over, you know? <laughs> like, we're definitely in the for a cause, just ending games mode right now. Even more so if he actually gets to attack with one of his units, which I don't see how he wouldn't be able to get to attack with at least one of them. I think the Pell player is thinking hard through the resource decision. The other awkward part about this is you might not want to pay for the falcon but if you don't pay for the falcon it's going back into sabine's hand not yours so oh. that is the unfortunate part here and why you can also waylay a stolen falcon back to your own hand if it's yours change of heart works too all right okay so that's, I, I forgot he has that that's pretty good that's like the gladiator, gladiator is going to give itself sentinel i imagine yep that's a big stall tactic but because it only lasts for one round, it's now, just a stall is tactic. Is Sabine kept a spell force through the match? Mm -hmm. Probably. Oh, we're seeing That's a four across. Four. Imagine if he they're puts them. Burn. If he puts them all on top, then you know he has another one, right? Yeah. Okay, he doesn't probably then. If he keeps the falcon up. Yeah. He's thinking about it. It's a good draw. You probably don't need Lay at this point, but the Falcon... It's hard to say that there's much better than that. I mean, another four cause is what you really want to see, because that will actually end it. Okay. But we're at the part where, like... Pelp loses sentinel at the start of the round so if he still doesn't kill black one this round it's still gonna kill him on a claim which is still pretty bad for pelp <laughs> there is i need like a reinforcement walker instead trade into the a-wing and then play a reinforcement walker I guess if Pelt claims, he can pull another barrage and kill the board. That's like the only hope there. But that also gives Sabine the ability to play more cards because I think he's only played three resources so far. He's at least one card in hand. Pelt realizes he's in a pickle. If he's got a falcon, Sabine can win on a claim too, because the two existing ships can take care of the gladiator. Yeah. Shoot first is like the only one cost. I, oh, he has a Greedo and ASB. Right. ISB doesn't really do anything for you here, though, either. Okay, shoot first lets you kill Black One, which lets <laughs> which lets him draw a Falcon if he wants, because we know that he has a Falcon in the top three. 
I think you'd probably take that as Ryan, like, ditch your hand, no, you're drawing a falcon, pull, maybe you get another for cause and you just win. I obviously don't know the rest of his hand, that could be important too, but all right, that's pretty big. So he is dumping. He had a fleet lieutenant, which would have also been able to just push through next turn. Ah, and he pulls a spec force, which is enough to do it, because he's going to spec force, hit for three with the A-wing, yep. and finish him off with Sabine. So that's it. Yep. Sabine. Yep. Yellow takes yep, very, so. yep, very, very well played. I mean, I was waiting to see the spec force save the day. Yep. So we'll be back next with our finals, which we have Ryan on Sabine Yellow versus Carlos on Boba Yellow. So... A lot of yellow. A very cutting top cut. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Later.